right, thank you. Hello. Thank you, Elder Toom, Bishop Toom. Now, Brother um, Walls is going to begin giving us some worship music, and we are going to prepare ourselves for worship. Also, anybody who would like to uh, pay something by way of, of your card, there is someone there of white who can facilitate you with that. Help me with this song, please. Praise the Lord. 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 Praise. You know, it's a few of us here today, so I need you to. Put a little strength in your voice if you can. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise. together and send the Lord a praise. I'm going to ask our special songstress for our uh, for our O.T. Jones Institute to come and lead you in a nice, slow, congregational song. By that time, our speaker should be at the podium, and he has brought with him a special soloist, and she will come uh, afterward. Right now, receive this wonderful missionary, powerful missionary, who has an excellent name and reputation, Sister Larsine Wall. Say amen as she comes. Come on, put your hands together and give God praise. Come on, you can do better than that. To accompany your hand clap, open your mouth and give God praise. Come on, somebody shout out hallelujah. Come on, lift your voice, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, worship him, hallelujah. Don't just pity pat and then stop. Come on, push through with your praise. Come on, begin to set the atmosphere, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, from the bottom of your belly, lift your voice, hallelujah. Glory to God. Just help me sing this song really quick. How great is our God. If you don't mind, stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Mm. Come on, help me say how great is our God. Sing with me how great the world should see. your hands together. Oh, how great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great the world should see. How great is our God. Come on, your name is above. See? 
you. You might be seated. Our speaker for today, in my opinion, is one of the most well-read ministers in our church. Scott A. Bradley is an author, a lecturer, started preaching at the age of 16. By the age of 20, he was traveling the length and breadth of America. He is the author of several books, most notably, the Black Man Cursed or Blessed, a bestseller, and in 1994 was the recipient of an achievement award given by the Black Literary Arts Society based in Hampton. He is a brother, and he is an anointed person. Just before he sings, preaches, speaks, Sister Allen, wait, I must be looking at the wrong side. Uh, Brenda Allen, evangelist Brenda Allen is going to come and give a special solo and then we will give him the honor we do those who bring the word and stand and receive the elder bread. Church. 
tragedies are a commonplace all kind of diseases people are slipping away muggers and robbers no place seem to be safe but you protector every step of the way and I want to say I want to say I want to say thank you Lord for all It could have been me outdoors with no food and no clothes all, all alone without one friend or just another number with a tragic end. But you didn't see fit to let none of these things be every day by your power every day by your power every day by your power you keep on you keep on you keep on you keep on keeping me and I want to say And I want to say, and I want to say, thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave, but I been lost. You could have been lost. You could have been lost in your sin. But oh God, quicken your heart. God, quicken your heart. God, quicken your heart. And he pulled, he pulled, he pulled you in. And I want to say, and I want to say, and I want to say, seconds if you will this is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and glad and sister Brenda was singing this song portion to worship the Lord and to give God praise you know we worship God for what he has done we praise God for what he's done but we worship him for who he is in other words there's none greater there's none like him would you believe me if I told you that when we praise God we invite God into our presence. Remember Paul and Silas when they were down in the Philippian jail in the midnight hour and began to give God praise and glory. And the Bible says that the presence of God came in and they began to give an earthquake. The entire earth began to shake and the bondages began to break off because of the praise. But when you worship God, he invites you into his presence. In other words, when we start telling God how splendorous he is, how glorious he is, how good he is, how we bless and glorify you, there's nothing like you, there's nothing like you nowhere. He invites us into his presence. For the next 30 seconds, because God is God and because God is good, why don't we just give God praise? Why don't we just bless him? Hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and bless him. Thank you, Jesus. 
when I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, open your mouth and tell him, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If I had 10,000 tongues, I would use them all to bless him. Come on, put your hands together. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Before you sit down, I want you to repeat these words with me, if you will. Surely the Lord is in this place. Come on, lift your voice and say it again. Surely the Lord is in this place. One more time from the depths of your belly. Surely the Lord is in this place and he's blessing me right now. One more time, give the Lord a hand clap, everybody. As you take your seats, God bless. Amen. We are grateful and thankful that the Lord has blessed us and has smiled upon us to stand in this stead and to share this word with you today. Amen. We honor our president, Bishop Jack Whitehead, and to members of the general board, our presiding bishop in their absence, and to our national supervisor. I want to go right to the word of the Lord this morning. Our time is limited. And I want to go to the book of St. John, the 12th chapter, and starting at verse 20. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came, therefore, to Philip, which was at the stadia, of Galilee and desired him saying sir we would see Jesus sir we would see Jesus I want to go that way this morning I want everyone to repeat these words with me matter of fact look at somebody next to you and ask him this question does the world see Jesus in you come on open your mouth and say it does the world see Jesus in you. You know, as I have traveled abroad, uh, and I am, a, of course, a Church of God in Christ minister, an ordained minister in the Church of God in Christ. I love this church. I, I kind of picked up the moniker that the Baptist folk use, Kojic born, Kojic bred, and I'll be Kojic when I'm dead, you know. That's what the Baptist folk oftentimes say. Well, I'm saying that to say this. Even though I'm Kojic, I don't just limit my ministry into Kojic churches. I've been blessed to travel across the country and throughout the world and in various of churches and I've noticed an attitude in this 21st century church and that is the sad thing is that many people that profess to be Christians many people that are under the category of Christians really don't know Jesus yeah there's a there's a difference and if I can use a comparison if I can use an illustration here, it's just like marriage you have the institution of marriage but then you have the intimacy within marriage. Now, if you don't have the intimacy within the marriage, if you can just say, well, forever and I'm married, well, we've been married a long time, but you really have no intimacy, you are not really receiving the full benefits of the marriage.